keep speaking boldly. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. That's what the word of God says. Psalm 81 and verse 10. Luke chapter 21 verse 15. He said there, he said, I will give you a mouth and wisdom which your adversaries will not be able to gainsay nor resist. Open your mouth and speak against those barriers. Is somebody getting what God is saying? That barrier against your career, speak against it. My career cannot be stagnated, cannot be stranded. That barrier against your family, speak against it. Evil occurrences are not permitted to be on repetition. That barrier against your children, speak against it. The barrier against your fruitfulness, speak against it. Don't watch it, speak it. Hear this and hear it very well. Signs follow sounds. If you don't sound out what you desire, you will not see it come in your direction. So speak. Open your mouth and speak. He said, if you say to this mountain, be removed and be cast to the sea. And you doubt not in your heart, but believe the things that you say will come to pass. You will have whatsoever you say. It is not what they say you will have. It's what you say you will have. It's what you say you will have. Stop saying they say, they say, they say. No. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? That's what matters. It's not what they say. Every man is the custodian of his destiny by his words. What do you say? That's what matters. It is not what they say. Oh, they said this. Oh, they said that. Oh, they said this. But what do you say? You see, most of the time, the devil uses other people's words to sound in our direction so that we can make repetition. Because it is what we say that matters. It's what we say that matters. A person goes to the hospital and they say, oh, I can see from this can. This can, yeah, it shows that there is a man, there's a tumor. There's cancer in the body. And then the person says, what are you saying, doctor? Are you saying that I have cancer? That's what Satan was waiting for. He's waiting for you to say what they say. So stop repeating what men say. Start describing what God says. Start describing what God says. That is what determines our victory. Open your mouth wide.